I don't understand why nah. you're a day forward and not not like a day back or something. I don't know who decided. Yeah, well, that, that is that <laughs> is sort of this part of the world happened first, and it <laughs> weren't you? You're quite new, aren't you? Well, in a way, it's not you... 2006 where you are. It's <laughs> <And> sort of... <laughs> You're a bit behind, aren't you? Well, Carl, talking to Carl Puckington here. Carl, this is one of the weirdest things, and this actually does my head in, because when I talk to overseas people a lot, you know, actually, you guys are living in a different time warp than us. We are actually living in the future, and you guys are living in the, uh, you know, way in the background. I know. Uh, if the world sort of blows up or anything, you've sort of had an extra day than everyone yeah. else. Well, it's a yeah. bit annoying, that. <laughs> well, apparently, it's a disaster. Well, appar <laughs> well apparently, apparently what happens, though, is that we actually get breaking news first. So, for example, things like September 11th, New Zealanders, because we're the first people to see the sun, we found out about stuff before you guys did. So, so, I, so I'm sitting... But, in, but in a way, though, I sort of think it's better to get news later because then it's not as shocking. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If if you get some bad news, if you've been away on holiday and you get back and someone yeah. says, "Oh, your granddad's died." Yeah. When did that happen? Two weeks ago. You go, and it's not as bad as if they said, "Oh, twenty minutes ago." <laughs> yeah. Because everyone sort of got over it a bit, yeah. and then yeah. do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but I do. So I prefer sort of being behind in a way. Yeah, but on the flip side of that, right, is that I will know I will know news now that you have not yet known, Carl. So I can like what? What's going on? Well, well you're just asking me for the city results. <laughs> so. Well, you see, I, I can look up the BBC News right now, and I can have it ahead of you, and I can actually tell you what's breaking before you do. How, tr how freaky is that? So I can actually kind of show off. I can ring you up. Hey, Carl, what, you, guess, guess what's happening down here? <laughs> That's, uh, hang on a minute. Is that right? Yeah. Like, for example... So you're like, yeah. Go on. No, no, like, for example, I can, I can look up something, or something will be breaking here, and it'll happen, like, what, 24 hours before you do? I could ring you up and say, hey, Carl, guess what's happening in the world? And you go, no. You know? Yeah, but I don't want to know. Don't be calling me up with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd only be good stuff, mate. It'd just be good stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know sometimes. It's best not knowing, isn't it? I'm sort of, uh, sort of working on something on that at the moment, sort of wondering whether you're better off being, being a bit, sort of, you know, not knowing what's going on, yeah. not... Do, well, do you know what I mean? No, Sometimes I, there's nothing you can do. There's no point knowing about stuff. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, but the, at the same time, you know, like Ka Carl, have you ever travelled a time zone? Have you ever, ever travelled across time? Um, <laughs> what do you mean? Just like going on holiday and that? Yeah. yeah. We don't mean years and that. You just talking hours. Yeah, I'm talking hours. Uh, yeah, I've done that. Yeah. 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 I don't like it. It's uh, it sort of messes with your body, isn't it? It just goes to show that. Uh, you know, we we, we sort of. Uh, see, I used to work nights. Oh, did you? Oh, yes. Uh, and and the body's not made for that, is it? Your body sort of goes into a bit of shock and stuff. And we're all animals, aren't we? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I you see, I hate working nights. You know, but the the whole night culture is a particular. Apparently, it's a totally unique thing. You know, you actually, you like a ghost to other people. Did you find that? You know, like a uh, vampire. Well, just, yeah. A vampire. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just it's uh, it, it's just not not. So we weren't made for that, and especially like when I worked in radio, working through the night, it's like it's not worth wrecking your life for just yeah. playing records, is it? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, it's you know it's a way to earn a living, isn't it? Do you miss that? Do you miss the, like the, doing the radio stuff, like XFM? Uh, not not really. I was there for like nine years, mm. and uh, Time to move on. I just it just did me head in. I mean, anything you can have like a really good thing, but after a while you just get sick of anything, don't you? Yeah. But yet you were also... I've been with my girlfriend for 12 years, so yeah. she's, she's got to start thinking yeah. about start getting bored with her. But, but, you were, you were, <laughs> but you were on such a great thing with um, Ricky Gervais and, uh, and Stephen Merchant. How, how did you actually meet those guys? Can you tell us? Uh, it was just, like, like you say, I worked at XFM, you know, this radio station in London, and then uh, it, it was like my turn to, to work on a weekend show. Yeah. And and they were like the latest things. They were like the you know they came in to do a show and uh, they just said right it's your turn to to work with them yeah. to sort of work with someone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I just was sort of forced onto them because everyone's because they can't, they don't press the buttons and all that. They can't right. do any of that. They're the glory seekers, so, uh, mate. So they just sit yeah they just sit there and chatting and. Uh, it, that's how it was, really. It's simple as that. And then, as you, as you, as the Britain uh, button presser, did they say, "Oh, turn your mic on, Carl," or did you just turn it on yourself? Well, no. They uh, 
like, you know, they'd be chatting when the songs were on and stuff, and then I'd say, oh, why don't you, you know, chat about this or chat about that or, you know, oh, have you heard the news about this and have you heard about that? And they'd, they'd be like, why are you telling us? Why don't you just do it? And I'd, I'd, been, on air, I'd been on air before but got, like, uh, fired from it when I was in Manchester. I was on a station up there and uh, I thought, oh, it's going to happen all over again. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to go through all that again. You're kidding. And you're... they just said, no, it'll, it'll be all right, it'll be all right, just, you know, just chat, and that's how it sort of came about. Unbelievable. Just uh, quite a cheesy question, but, it, but Carl, has it changed your life? Like, well, talking... like I said to you, it's Saturday night here at 20 past seven, and I'm staying in, so what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, not really. I mean, it's, it's sort of, if anything, it, it's more of a ball ache, because people think that, you know, you're having a good life and all that, and yeah. uh, you know people say, "Oh, what, you get Suzanne for a Christmas present," and just because it's like a pair of shoes or something, it's like you're, you're a bit tight, aren't you? Get, get something <laughs> flash, and so it's it's hassle. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, but to be honest, you know, I mean, people who come up to me and all that, they're all all right. It's just mates always think, you know, you made the money and all that. And exactly. Mind you, mind you, you know the Guinness Book of Records for eight, you know the world's biggest download podcasting, eight million. That's just that's just incredible, Carl. You know. Yeah, it's it's gone up now. I think it's uh, you know, it's up it's up to about ten million now. Oh, but oh my god! It's like, but the thing is, I mean, the Guinness Book of Records thing. I, I, it's the first time I've looked at it really because it's you don't really buy it. You don't. Unless Unless you're in it, do you know what I mean. <laughs> There's no need for you to sort of stay in one night thinking, "Who is it who's sat in a you know bath of beans for 17 hours?" Carl, I need to know. Carl, this is so, so this is so freaky you say this because you know here I was sitting in the doctor's one day just two weeks ago and thought, and there was a Guinness Book of Records, 1996. Although, oh, I haven't seen that for a while, you know. And, 1996. Yeah. <laughs> And is so that I thought, what it was? Yeah, it was nine, it, this is only two weeks ago. It was 1996 version. I thought, oh, a bit out of date, but I'll, I'll have a look anyway. <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, it's the same sort of... I mean, it's, it's all the same sort of stuff. And it's the tallest a, man, yeah. I'm guessing he was the tallest man in 96. But it, he's, in, he's grown a bit since... Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I don't... I, it's cut, I mean, how long has it been going for, that? Oh, has it look, been around for years? It's been around for years. But it's the same sort of thing. It's got, you know, the man with the biggest fingernails <clears> and the uh, tallest man. I can remember him, Robert Wadlow. Yeah, but it's, it's all sort of... It's just a way of cheering up anyone who's a bit mental, isn't it? It's kind of... <laughs> you know, you've got three heads, but good news is... <laughs> you you're in a book. You're in a book. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an odd one. I mean, I go to... Uh, I'm into all sort of weird stuff, and I'll go to Ripley's Museum and stuff like that and, yeah. and look at weird stuff, and that's amazing, but... The yeah. Guinness Book of Records, I don't know. It's. Uh, I think everyone can get in there if they can be bothered. Well, that's, that's right. That's because, the thing, isn't it? That's right, because where I, where I lived earlier in, in Dunedin, I think they tried to do the world's biggest pizza, uh, and uh, oh, they failed. Uh, but, yeah, you, you know, but they, they, wanted just, they, they just wanted to get in the book as a town, you know? Right, so that's what it's all... But, I mean, are people bothered? I mean, would people be happy in that town if they'd had the biggest pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, God, yeah, you know. Yeah. Hey, Carl, do you still keep in touch with uh, Ricky and Stephen, just as friends? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Rick is in um, New York at the moment, yeah. so he, he still manages to call up, like, twice a day and what have you. Mm. Um, and, uh, I mean, the, 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 what happened the other one was he was he was chasing me through the through the streets of London. Yeah. Which was a bit odd. Because <laughs> um, he, he, he doesn't know where I live, so he's been trying to find out where I live and what have you. Mm. And... Uh, yeah, so he was chasing me, trying to find out, but yeah. I, I, I outran him, so <laughs> yeah. I got away with that. Hey, I but, enjoy... uh, Yeah, and Steve's all right. Steve won an award the other night for uh, some actor or something. I, I, I don't know what it was, but he, he won something. Yeah, yeah. So he's happy. Hey, uh, yeah. well, uh, I, I really enjoy the book, Carl. Well, it's, it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I never thought I'd have a book out. It's, it's uh, you know, I didn't do that well at school and that, as you probably know, and then... You sort of see this book on a shelf. It's a bit. It's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. And of course, your dad yeah. would take your dad would take it down off the shelf, and or your mum would take it down. And think, oh, oh, Carl. Yeah, know, me, when's me, the next my one? Mum's, my mum's happy with it. She's pretty chuffed. But my dad's sort of. Uh, he's kind of like you know, who's going to buy that? Yeah. Summer breakfast with Wallace.